Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. When I put out the how to calibrate the uh, the live scope the other day, I had several comments uh, about guys saying you're supposed to use the trolling motor. Garmin explicitly says use the trolling motor. Use, I mean, excuse me, don't use the trolling motor. You deploy the trolling motor, turn it off because of the magnetic interference. And I have always done it with the Garmin Force to use the trolling motor. I never had any problem. I always have good magnet, the spin rate, the magnetic rate, and it's always been a success. But people wanted to know. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna reuse the video from before. I'm gonna add it to this one. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do it. This is gonna be a two part series. This is gonna be pretty fun. There's three ways you can do it. You can do the trolling motor, which is my way, never had any problems. You can do the Garmin way, which is deploy the trolling motor, drive the big motor in a big circle. Or thirdly, you can deploy the trolling motor and drive your truck in a circle. So what I'm gonna do is, whichever one of these is most successful, either the trolling motor or the big motor, I'm gonna put it against the pickup truck. We're gonna drive pickup truck in a circle. We're gonna look like idiots somewhere, but we're gonna do it. And we're gonna see which one's the winner. But here's the first part of the series. Let's go. Let's get it going and let's figure out which one of these is the best. Now we're going to do the big motor. All right. So what I've done is I've went ahead and got it on this screen. I've got my trolling motor deployed. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it off. There is no power. There's nothing there to it. Uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and turn it completely off. All right. Let's see, it's completely off. No possible interference. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and push begin, sit down the seat, and then we're gonna make the circle. This is the best I can do. All right, begin. And here we go. I'm turning to the left. Hope I don't hit a stomp rip my trolling motor off. Trying to be very stable as I was with the uh, trolling motor where this can be a very solid test. If you'll see, if the motor, motor, motor is in idle, slow as it'll go. And we're going slow, it's about 50% done now. Uh, it says we're going about two miles an hour. So, let's just see what happens. It's an interesting test. It's an interesting thing to find out. Um, there's one full complete circle. It's about a circle and a half, so I can imagine that. Um, all right, it's done. So let's throw it back in neutral, kill the motor, and let's go back up here. All right, the calibration was a success, all right? Magnetic environment, 87%. It was, I think it was close to 91 or 92 with the trolling motor. Spin quality was higher. I think it was 92. Not real sure on that. I have to check the other video. But it looks like to me, both of them are a success. Both of them will work. Um, but to me, it seemed like the trolling motor did a better, more successful job. But what I'll do is, since we're in the same environment, instead of using the old video... Instead of using the old video, I will do it again with the trolling motor. Let's turn the trolling motor on. All right. Let everything get going there. Takes a second sometimes. There it is. Once it grabs the GPS signal, it has grabbed the GPS signal. We're gonna go to calibrate compass. We're gonna calibrate. Remember how I do it, 90 degrees. That's perfect. I'm gonna turn it on two. And I'm gonna, well, first of all, I'm gonna hit this button. Remember, I hit this button. It's the constant on, constant on, begin. Now, let's see. I was gonna use the old one, decided not to. This is the reason I decided to do it like this is the other one was done in a different environment in a different place. So I don't want that to happen. It was done at a different time of the day. So let's try to be 
let's try to make sure we get as close to accurate on the the uh, conditions as possible. Same conditions, same lake, same body of water. There we go. Spin quality is better. Magnetic environment is better. I say as a whole. I say as a whole, I think the trolling motor just does a better, because it's, when you do a better spin quality and combine with the magnetic environment, I think you're going to have a better, more successful. When you average those two numbers out, that's the only way I really know how to do it is average two numbers out. And I think the spin quality on the big motor just can't keep the circles as accurate as it can with that trolling motor turning. And uh, so there's that test. I hope that helps. But the next test will be the trolling motor versus a parking lot and that's going to be a difficult task because you're not going to be able to have controlled environments i can't run the trolling motor on concrete <laughs> but guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing hit the bell